Hello students, good time to all, I am Chandan Kunkhradhan, welcome to this channel Chandan Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss electric field due to infinite flame which is non-conducting sheet of charge. Let us begin. We have to consider a non-conducting thin infinite plane sheet of charge. infinite thin plane sheet of charge which is non conducting non conducting and conducting sheet of charge is differentiated on the basis of how charge is distributed in case of non conducting sheet of charge its one side is distributed by the charge but in case of conducting sheet of charge both the sides of that sheet of charge is distributed so here we take non conducting sheet of charge so one side is distributed by that of charge. Let you take the positive charge is distributed. Here we define the surface charge density surface charge density sigma that is charge per surface area charge per unit surface area surface area sigma charge that is q the surface area b capital a so q is equal to sigma a a with the cross section as we studied here the surface area can be determined by using that gaussian surface so now let us calculate the electric field intensity at point p which is at a distance small r from that of sheet which is at a distance small r from that of sheet let p dash is another point which is symmetric with p on the other side of that of sheet here also we take another point that is p dash other side of that of sheet which is symmetric to that of point p means again that is placed at a distance r To find the electric field intensity at point P, draw a Gaussian surface. We have to draw here the Gaussian surface. We have to draw the Gaussian surface. That is the Gaussian surface.
here that the Gaussian surface. That Gaussian surface as the cylinder of cross section A as the cylinder of cross section A and length r plus r 2 r and length is equal to 2 r. The direction of electric lines of force to the plane sheet directed outward let here is the surface S 1 here be that surface S 2 at that case the electric lines of force E vector is same as that of D S 1 vector and also at surface S 2 E vector is same as d s 2 vector the direction, but at this surface the electric lines of force are directed perpendicular to the plane of sheet outward look at here that is the plane of the sheet. So, there will be charge is distributed here if you take the Gaussian surface then electric field lines direction is same as that of d s vector again at that surface also. Since the electric field intensity is perpendicular to the curved surface of that of Gaussian cylinder therefore, electric field intensity is perpendicular in that of curve this is the curved Gaussian surface. So, here electric field intensity E vector is perpendicular to D s vector therefore, no electric flux will pass through that of curved surface of that of cylinder in that of curved surface of that of cylinder the electric flux will be 0 since E vector is perpendicular to D s vector. So, here we can write at curved surface of Gaussian curved surface of Gaussian cylinder Gaussian cylinder electric field is perpendicular to that area vector. So, angle here will be 90 degree that is the reason the electric flux will be 0 e dot d s is 0. So, the flux will be 0 means no flux through that of curved region and only the electric flux will pass through that two ends means S 1 and S 2 because here E vector is parallel to d s 2 and E vector is parallel to d s 1 vector. but at surfaces S 1 and S 2 E vector is parallel D S 1 vector and parallel to d s 2 vector. Therefore, E dot d s is equal to E d s. Since, cos 0 is equal to 1 here theta is 0 degree. Now, we can calculate 
the total electric flux that are passing through that of Gaussian surface by using Gauss law. Here we have to use the Gauss law. According to Gauss law, the total electric flux passing through the Gaussian surface. is given by total flux phi is equal to the closed curve integration over S that is E dot d s is equal to q by epsilon naught look here this is surface S 1 S 2 let that curved region be the surface S 3. Now, the closed curved is the combination of three such surfaces S 1, S 2 and S 3. Now, that closed curve can be written in the form of S 1 E dot d s plus S 2 E dot d s plus S 3 E dot d s is equal to Q by epsilon naught, but here at the surface S 3 what happened E vector is perpendicular to d s vector. So, the flux will be 0 here. So, at S 3 that cancelled in these two cases the flux exist therefore, here at the surface S 1 we take S 1 as E d s plus here at surface S 2 that is E d s is equal to Q by epsilon naught E to that of outside S 1 d s plus S 2 d s is equal to Q by epsilon naught the entire surface S 1 S 1 is the area element area of that of cross section of the cylinder again d s 2 we integrate d s 2 that is the area of that cross section of that of cylinder that is a. So, here E is equal to sorry E into a plus here also E into a is equal to q by epsilon naught or E a plus E a that is 2 E into a is equal to q by epsilon naught or E is equal to 1 by 2 a into q by epsilon naught. Now, here we have to put the value of q as we derive as defining surface such density. Now, putting that value here, we have E is equal to 1 by 2 a in place of q, we substitute that is sigma a divided by epsilon naught a a cancel out. So, here the final result E is equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught that is the required expression means the electric field due to that infinite plane infinite plane city of charge which is non conducting plane city of charge at point P that is the expression that is sigma divided by 2 epsilon r sigma is the surface charge density how much of charge in that of unit surface area divided by 2 into epsilon naught epsilon naught that is permittivity of free space. So, with the help of this video lecture we understand electric field due to infinite plane which is in unconducting seat of charge. Here we draw that Gaussian surface and applying Gauss law to 
calculate the total flux through that of Gaussian surface. Here is the surfaces and which surfaces flux exist and which surfaces flux does not exist. We calculated here and put it that values. A be the area of that of cross section of that Gaussian surface and finally, derive that expression of electrical intensity due to that infinite density of charge at point P. So, with this useful and infinite notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.